Hey guys, Zach King here with another Final Cut Pro tutorial. Um, I want to show you something pretty cool here. It's it's a customizable gradient, and what you have is like, for example, I'll have a gradient, um, a grayscale picture. This is just a, a simple picture of the clouds that I have, and I'm going to use that as a transition. So it's a pretty neat effect, and uh, it's very customizable. So it gives your project a unique flavor, and it makes it different. So I'm just using uh, two photos right now, and as you can see, if I play this, it just jumps from here to there, um, no special transition. But what I want to do is add a transition between there. So what you need to do is select that little gap in between. So yeah, that little selection point is, is there, and you'll see that highlighted when you click it. And now what we're going to do is go up to Effects, Video Transitions, Wipe, and now we're going to go to gradient wipe right here and when I do that between that those two clips a uh, simple gradient uh, kinda yeah it does look like Star Wars is added there but I want to make that customizable now I have the gradient on there and what you're gonna do is use this picture to insert as a gradient so double click that gradient and in your viewer it pops up and what you're going to do is see this little empty well right here with the question mark is where you're going to want to add your photo or your grayscale gradient. So I'm going to drag my clouds picture into that well. And now in my canvas, it needs to be rendered. So I'm going to render that really fast. And we're going to take a look at what it looks like. It's probably going to not be, uh, it's going to be pretty abrupt because I haven't changed the softness yet but let's just take a look and see what this is like. Okay, so it's a little fast. Let me play it one more time. And a little, yeah, a little too abrupt. So I'm going to come up here, make sure it's double-clicked again, and I'm going to use my softness and drag it up a little bit. Not all the way. I mean, you kind of have to play around and see what works best. But now I'm going to also change the length, and you can come up here in the corner and type in uh, about three seconds which is 300 and now I need to render this and we'll just take a look at how this looks Okay, so now it's done rendering. Let me play it and we'll see what it looks like. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So basically, uh, you can find your own picture. I just found a picture of clouds online actually and then adjusted it myself in iPhoto. It was pretty simple and I just turned it black and white, which is grayscale. So uh, that's all it really is. It, you can see it's a little rough here and that's just because it was a bad quality photo. I think I could have found a uh, a larger, the larger your image, the better it's going to be. So you can see it's a little pixelated here because it couldn't tell the difference between the white and the dark. So make sure it's really contrasted pretty well. And uh, I think that's about it. I can keep changing the length. It was a little, let's see, it was a little long, but that's not bad. It's a cool effect. And what I love about these customizable gradients is that it's totally different no one else is going to have the exact same transition that you have so it gives you a little bit of edge so that's a quick tutorial on customizable gradient uh, check out the website finalcutking.com for more video tutorials I'll see you guys later